Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how we can use decision tree for regression problem. Yes, you have listened correctly. Decision tree can be used for regression problem also. Okay, we have seen earlier that how we can use decision tree for classification using fit C tree. Just instead of C which is uh, uh, used for classification, you just replace C by R and that fit R tree can be used for regression problem. Okay, how it works internally, what is theoretical mathematical intuition behind that I will be discussing later. But first let us try to see in the coding part because it will give us some idea. So here I have taken one small data set position level and salary okay based on a particular level suppose uh, in a company in a company based on a particular level I need to predict the salary of the employee okay that kind of regression problem uh, for that kind of use case we are using this okay first column is not required for us because this is just giving us the position okay which is not at all required so what we can do uh, first save the data set in the current uh, directory like here position uh, salary I have stored here then CLC clear all close all warning of format long generally uh, default format is stored but I am converting to long because here you can see the salaries are quite high okay so scientific notation uh, may come if you keep the default format so I am changing to long then I am reading the table and I am showing my data set okay so let me just run this particular part of the code and show you the data set which is this one okay you can see now this first column is not required so we will be dropping that using x dot position equal to an empty matrix it will drop that and I am plotting the level versus salary with red color uh, dot line style marker size 20 okay so that we can see this uh, in better way so this is our actually level versus salary graph now we will be creating decision tree regressor using fit r tree okay you can explore more from this particular uh, MathWorks documentation, just write feed after MATLAB. You'll be getting this documentation link here. They have explained beautifully how you can apply in coding part. Okay, so feed R3 X X is our data set. Like same like we have applied for classification. Then we are giving the outcome and the independent feature. Okay, that is level. Based on level, we need to predict the salary. And this is the symbol. You know, you have to give mean parent size one. I am giving. Mean parent size, this particular parameter I have already discussed while discussing this centric uh, classifier different parameters. Okay, so I am taking mean parent size 1 that is very small because our data set itself is very small. Now, if you give mean parent size suppose 3 or 4, that time it will not split until and unless your minimum parent size is 3 or 4. So, as a result, you will not be getting proper uh, output. Okay, so I am taking very small mean parent size so that because our data set itself is small and with this small data set, we can get one good amount of result so that I am splitting for one only. Okay, and I am predicting the uh, salary of a person which, who has level 6.5. Now, you may think how a level can be 6.5. Very simple. You can just see level is suppose 6 for region manager and 7 for partner. Okay. Now, suppose uh, one employee has 6 year experiment, experience and uh, he or she has worked 6 more months. Okay. Then he, is, he or she is actually in between region manager and partner. Right. So, that kind of situation we can uh, intuitively feel like 6.5 level. Right. So, no problem in that. So, I am predicting the uh, salary for 6.5 so if I just run okay let me just remove the display part because it is not required so I am running selecting this code and displaying so see it is giving us this salary 2 lakh okay so predicted salary is 2 lakh if the employee has level 6.5 now I want to plot the waveform which is actually continuous waveform on our this discrete data set so I am taking minimum of X level and very small increment I am uh, taking up to maximum of X level and for all these values I want to predict the uh, for all these values I want to predict the corresponding salary and don't forget to give this transpose because this is this will give us one row but we have to pass one column right because uh, we have trained according to column wise then plotting the output giving grid on to visualize value for a particular level. So if I just run this whole code, I'll be getting this kind of output. And here you can see this is kind of 
here case approximation of our graph okay in a uh, polynomial regression we have seen we were getting one smooth curve joining all these data points uh, or we can say the, the one curve which is trying to uh, best fit uh, in the data point but here we are getting stair type so what you can intuitively feel from this idea just try to think for a while here i am explaining why this is happening you recall how decision tree classifier worked it actually divided our whole data set into different regions okay and then it whenever one particular data point belonging to one particular region it concluded okay that particular data point has that particular class wherever in that region one in one particular region all the data points belonging to same class similarly here also the, uh, our decision tree regressor uh, basically split our whole data set into different region and any data point coming in any part of that specific region will be having same output okay that is mean of the whole data set so basically this is indicating that only okay that is this point is all these points which is actually centered at 8 maybe from 7.5 to 8.5 all these having same value okay that is actually giving the mean of the whole region like that you can feel the idea right but this kind of uh, visualization is okay but decision tree right we are asking binary question so obviously uh, that kind of if else type a uh, graph type visualization if we able to make then that will be more uh, feeling we will be getting more feeling from that so like the classification here also you can write the same view model mode is graph okay so if i just run this particular part evaluate selection i will be getting my uh, graphical visualization of the decision tree so here you can see how the salary splitting is happening if level is less than 8.5 it will come to this branch if level is greater than 8 equal to 8.5 it will come here then it will decide if level is less than 9.5 then if yes then salary is this much if level is greater than equal to 9.5 salary is this much like this each time it is checking binary question asking binary question and based on if else it is splitting and reaching one particular answer okay so here you can do uh, pruning and all these things okay i i can prune like here see pruning is happening like classification tree also we have seen so this is what about decision tree regressor this is all for my this video you can explore more about the coding part theoretical and mathematical part is left intuition part is left i will be discussing in the upcoming videos thank you for watching